Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to go into more details about the genetics and characteristics of the serpent bloodline, the eagle bloodline and the simple bloodline, and also the other pure bloodline, which is in sub-Saharan Africa, that have no serpent genes at all. And although people constantly deny it, ORH negative blood is the most ancient in humans and originates in Neanderthals. And I know I'm the only one who says this because everybody else is making up other stuff, but the evidence speaks for itself. Everything I say in my book is being proven to be true time and time again. There is no shame in coming from the most ancient humans with the largest brains and occipital buns for genetic memory storage. It is a blessing. So just because you are not an alien or angel, there is no need to get angry or upset about it. Whenever I talk about the genetics of each line, I get lots of people under the video saying things like, you are wrong, I have ORH negative blood and I am black, or I have dark hair, etc. That is because you are mixed. Only pure serpent lines will fit all of these characteristics and genetics. And there are so many claiming to be serpents or dragons. And yet if you check their genetics, they don't have OH negative blood and they don't have the correct DNA and they don't fit all of the characteristics. That is because they are hybrids and so cannot be serpent. They have some of the genes, but they are not us. And they are trying to trick those who are strong in the genes into exposing themselves, making themselves easy targets for their orders like Order of the Defeated Dragon, otherwise known as Dragon Court. These people are eagles. More than likely, they have A positive blood, blonde hair, green eyes, and R1B DNA. They are not of the serpent bloodline and they never will be. Serpent bloodline genetics and characteristics. Anybody who is full serpent bloodline will fit all of these. If you have some of these genetics, it means you have some of the serpent genes. ORH negative blood. Red hair are the red hair gene. Blue eyes, pale skin, short thick limbs, large skull with occipital bun and low forehead, wide pelvis, especially in the females. These are needed for giving birth to the children with larger skulls. Narrow ear canals and very sensitive hearing. Free unattached earlobes. Elvin ear points at the tops of ears. Brow ridges that are more pronounced on males. Very fine body hair. It is a myth that Neanderthals are hairy because we evolved from aquatic apes. We have much less body hair than land apes. Very sensitive sense of smell. Great night vision, but struggle to see clearly in bright light. Have a tendency towards being night owls because we are generally nocturnal. No wisdom teeth. Variation in HLA B27 gene. Y DNA of I and J haplogroups, MT DNA in haplogroups H, U and I. The females have very large breasts and precocious puberty, early menstruation from the ages of between six and nine. Females have no labia minora. 
The main vein in the arm runs along the top of the arm instead of in the center, which uh, is from a land ape thing. It's a major thing to have your um, main arteries running in a completely different place to um, other humans. Absence of the hitchhiker's thumb. Wide feet with shorter second toe than big toe. Straight little finger. Unable to roll tongue. Short neck. Widow's peak at the hairline. Dimples. Lungs badly affected by pollution. Easily overwhelmed by noise, which often causes auditory processing problems. No palmaris longus. This is something that um, only the land apes, which is why Neanderthals who evolved from aquatic apes don't have. Endomorph body type. Females height usually ranges from 5 foot 3 inches to 5 foot 7 inches. Male height range between 5 foot 8 and 6 foot 2. No finger hairs. Low body temperature and slow metabolism. This helps us to store fat that would keep us warm in the water and also through the Ice Age conditions. Often are left-handed or ambidextrous. Often have dyslexia and savant type qualities. The characteristics of the eagle bloodline. Because eagles are hybrids, some of them will be strong in serpent traits, more so than the simple bloodline. But because of the mixing, they also display lots of other simple traits. Hybrids tend to be taller, and this is also true with some eagles. Those who are strong in these genes are often very tall and slender. They can have any blood type, but predominantly A positive, and many of them are also RH negative. Blonde or brown hair predominantly. Green eyes predominantly. Green eyes are created by mixing the Neanderthal blue eyes with the brown eyes of the land apes. And all the shades in between, depending on how much melanin is in the eyes. They tend to have pale skin, long slender limbs, the skulls are smaller than the serpents and they have no occipital bun and high foreheads. Narrow pelvis. Attached earlobes. Not so much body hair, a bit like the serpents. Long neck. The second toe is often longer than the big toe. Ectomorph body type. Y DNA is generally R1B and R1A. MT DNA types are often Pablo groups M, N, T, and R. Female heights range between 5 foot 5 inches and 5 foot 9 inches. The heights of males usually range between 5 foot 10 inches and 6 foot 5 inches. And now on to the simples genetics and characteristics. The serpents mixed their genes with two main lines of land apes. There were those that were from an ape type similar to chimpanzees who had A positive blood and light skin. And then a gorilla type of land ape with B positive blood and dark skin. So simples are a good mix of those 
plus the serpent genes. They predominantly have mesomorph body types. As I said at the beginning, there is, other than the serpent bloodline, another pure bloodline. These evolved naturally over time from the B positive gorilla type ape line, without any mixing with serpent genes at all. They have black hair, black or brown eyes, and black or brown skin. It might all be confusing, but I hope it explains things a little better, because with all of the mixing, it is very hard to put yourself into one of these lines, which is why blood type and DNA are the easiest ways to see your origins. To summarize, those of pure serpent bloodline will have all of the characteristics listed at the beginning. Eagles could have any serpent characteristics or either of the characteristics of both simple lines. Both simple lines could have any mix and this makes up the vast majority of humans currently on the planet. Simples is just another way of explaining modern humans. Then there is the pure B positive line that are all dark skinned. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe if you haven't done already. Also, if you haven't already and you want to watch the secret access video, please do and join in with the uh, secret access website. I would also like to thank Brenda in the Netherlands, Benjamin in Australia and Brandon in France. Thank you so much for your support. With your help I can create more videos and release more information. Bye for now.